Okay, monotheistic religions. All right, as always, I want you to put the notes in your notebook. This is the title, monotheistic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. And on a separate sheet of paper, I got some questions for you at the end. You can do one of two things and I'll let you know when you get there. All righty. Monotheistic religions. Morning, Moby. You've been reading these religious texts all night? Um, are you having some kind of crisis? Dear Tim and Moby, what is religion? From Aaron. Uh, hmm. Religions are sets of beliefs that try to answer questions about human existence. Like, who are we? And how did we get here? What do we do with ourselves now that we're here? And what happens to us when we die? Beliefs are ideas that make sense to us. They give us a way to define ourselves, provide guidelines for our actions, and offer a measure of what's important. Yeah, there are hundreds of religions practiced all over the world, and each is different in its own way. Well, here's the way I see it. Just because you believe that one religion is right for you doesn't make all the other ones wrong. And if someone's beliefs differ from yours, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're wrong. Belief is a very personal thing. We can always learn things from each other, and being tolerant of other people's beliefs is the best way we can do just that. Mm, okay, here's a rundown of some of the most common. Christianity is the most popular religion on the planet today, and its teachings are written in a book called the Bible. It's a monotheistic religion, and that means they believe in one God. According to Christianity, this God sent his son, Jesus Christ, down to earth about 2,000 years ago. He was killed by the government of the Roman Empire, but came back to life three days later and went up to heaven. Christians believe that Jesus died to save people from their own sins, and that he'll return one day to judge the earth. There are hundreds of branches of Christianity, including Catholicism, Protestantism, Mormonism, and the Religious Society of Friends, just to name a few. Christianity grew out of Judaism, one of the oldest monotheistic religions. The Torah, the most sacred Jewish text, teaches that a single God created the universe and watches over humans, rewarding good and punishing evil. Judaism has three main branches, Orthodox, Conservative, and Reform. The teachings of Islam are found in a holy book called the Quran. Muslims believe in one God called Allah and his prophet Muhammad. Islam is based on five pillars, or main rules that every Muslim must follow. Reciting the Muslim creed at least once, praying five times daily while facing the holy city of Mecca, donating a portion of their income to charity, fasting during the month of Ramadan, and then making a pilgrimage to Mecca. Alrighty, so <clears throat> you should have wrote down five facts from that video. Um, let's jump into this. Alright, monotheism. Monotheism simply means belief in one God, okay? Belief in one God. The three main monotheistic religions in the world are Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. All right, all three are practiced in Europe. Now, looks like it's a lot of stuff to get here, okay? I want you to write down two sentences. One, all of these religions are going to start in Southwest Asia. That is, all three start in the same place, Southwest Asia, or sometimes we call it the Middle East today. All right. And they can all trace their roots back to this one prophet named Abraham. OK, um, Jerusalem is considered a holy city for all three religions. Okay, Jerusalem is considered a holy city for all three religions. All right. Um, you don't have to know why it so, but if you want to get this down this morning, uh, couldn't hurt you. All right. So those are the similarities between all three religions. Now, let's take a look at Judaism first, because it's the oldest of the three. So this is the old Star of David. All right. Um Originally, it was the one God religion because it was surrounded by religions that practice with many gods or polytheism 
But Judaism said, no, there's only one God or monotheism. All right. Judaism founded by the prophet Abraham in what is now Iraq. All right. So this is in Southwest Asia. All right. Um, but the country where it originally started would be modern day Iraq. All right. Um, their holy book is called the Torah. Okay. The Torah. Now, what made the Jews really different is they wrote down their laws and history. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, they worship in a place called synagogues. Okay. And they believe that the Messiah will come, but has not come yet. All right. And this is going to be where they break off from another group. All right. So that is the Jews. Now, um, let's, oh, I forgot about this. Let's take a look at this. And this is what the scribes would have written when they wrote down their laws. This is how they would have wrote it. It wouldn't have been in a book like you think of as a book today. All right. It would have been on these scrolls. All right. And these ancient scrolls is where they wrote down all of their laws and beliefs. And some of their laws include don't eat pork or shellfish and um, things like this. But their laws are going to be the basis, all right, of both the Christian holy book and the um, Muslim holy book. Now. This is Southwest Asia, right over here. And this is where all of this is going to get started. Eventually it becomes part of the old Roman Empire. And the Roman Empire, they were pretty tolerant. They didn't they had so many gods, they didn't care well, you know, what you practice as long as you paid your taxes. Alright. Um and then these small group of Jews tried to um protest. And that's where some issues are going to get started. And when they tried to um, overthrow the Roman government from that area, um, the Romans came in, crushed rebellion, and sent the Jews all over the Roman Empire. All right? They're going to send them all over. And when they did, there was a small sect within the Jewish um, faith. And this new group is going to combine elements of Judaism because that's where they came from and some of the elements of their new surroundings and they're going to create this new religion called Christianity all right Christianity and that new religion will become the most popular religion in the world all right Christianity actually has its roots in Judaism um it differs from Jews because they believe that Jesus is the last Messiah. All right. Um, or is the Messiah. All right. And their holy book is called the Bible. The Bible. Okay. Now. Christianity is the probably the largest. Um, not probably is the largest of the three faiths by far. Um has many 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 different denominations all denominations means is different types okay catholics orthodox baptists methodists jehovah witnesses all right mormons all of these are all christian organizations okay so and like i said again this is the largest in the world now let's go to islam islam is going to start a few years later, still in Southwest Asia, all right? And their leader is going to be a guy named Muhammad. Now, Muhammad is believed by Muslims to be the last prophet of God. They accept all of the previous prophets. They go back, they start with Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and they believe the last one is Muhammad, all right? Now, they call their holy book, the Quran. Sometimes you'll see it spelt with the Q U R, and sometimes you'll see it spelt with a K. 
but we're talking about the same thing. They got two main types of Muslims, Sunni and Shiite. All right, Sunni and Shiite. Now, um, they have something called the five pillars. So it's like the the Christians and the Jews live by the Old Testament. I mean, they live by the Ten Commandments. Well, they have the five pillars of Islam. Prayer, charity, submission, fasting, and the Hajj. All right. Um, the Hajj is, oh my God, these are all people. Okay. So you try to make a Hajj. That means you make a trip to Mecca. And this usually happens about the same time every year. And, these, and you walk around this area here seven times. These are all people. All right. You walk around this area here seven times, just like Muhammad did um, back in 680. Now. So Muslims, just like Christians, are strict monotheists. Um, they believe in the same God. They just call God Allah, which is um, um, an Arabic name for um, God. All right. Um, they believe that people who use the Torah, people who use the Bible and people who use the Quran are all brothers. All right. And they call them people of the book. All right. Now, I want you to choose one of these two. Um, you can either do this one, which is a spotlight on religion where you pick one religion and you make a little um collage and here are the directions here or make me a venn diagram put two facts in each part two facts here 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 two facts two facts in each part about these three religions all right so one of the two whichever one you decide to do all right catch you tomorrow